guys and welcome back to another M Crater lore video. Today what we're going to be working on is adding a couple new properties to the actual um, tilled soil. So basically I wanted to add uh, fertile or fertility for the soil as well and um, there was a suggestion for pH level which um, actually makes sense. I looked into it a little bit and all crops usually have to have a pH level. It's generally around um, 7.5 to 6.5 from what I you know, researched. So basically uh, there will be a more specific range for the best thing. And basically what that does is it breaks down the food for the plant. In this case it would be the fertilizer. And it would allow it to... Um, put it in the nutrients into the plant itself so it does make sense to actually use it right now what I'm currently working on is just getting these values a little bit random so it's not always going to be the same um, I'm setting the other one that we had yesterday to three to seven which should give a good nice middle range for the soil um, composition and then what we have uh, to work on is basically getting the um, fertil fertility and the um, what was it the other one the uh, pH level set up now generally with pH level what you would end up adding is something like limestone um, there would be uh, quick lime usually uh, which would be lime that is cooked um, or baked and then you would put that over the field and then it would work its way into the soil when it rains uh, or whatever uh, you could do the same idea with other other things as well I'm sure but I will probably be adding uh, limestone to the modification just so we can make quick lime and for fert fertilizer I'm still kind of debating what we should go ahead and do with that it's um we might end up making it bone meal or we might be going with something else at the moment though I just want to get the property set up and test the mechanics so right down here what I'm doing is I'm just creating a simple system when we right click on a um, on the soil itself it's going to add the values and I want to make sure that the uh, pH level doesn't go over 14 uh, reason being as a lot of the charts that I came across came over 14 and usually that's um, very uh, it has really high content of pH level uh, where lower amounts under four is basically nothing so uh, it's good to keep an idea of trying to keep these properties similar uh, as far as the fertilizer I just went with a nine for the maximum uh, so it kind of makes sense and then I'm, I started trying to uh, work out uh, whereabouts I needed to set up the timers for this so I did find the procedure for the timers. Oddly the, enough, this is not as complicated a uh, workspace compared to CCTV craft, so <laughs> it didn't take too much time to find, but uh, I wanted to add the pH uh, levels for the um, actual thing. And I'm going to set, I, I believe I set the timer to a higher number, but I ended up going with 14 in the end uh, which was more reasonable for the time and I also needed to get the properties from here and paste them in here so I could basically go ahead and decrease the value over time so just by one but still enough where it would be um, decreasing and I wanted to make sure that it was equal to or pardon me, greater than zero so if it's like one then it will only go down to zero now i actually think that um the value for fertilizer might need to be down to one i'm not sure just yet it makes sense if it kind of times out from not having any but i don't know i'll think about it and if we need to adjust it we will later on in the future but I do want to add limestone for sure, something like a greeny kind of uh, texture. 
for uh, stone itself. Might be able to create some textures from that. Maybe some new blocks as well, like uh, um, cobblestone and stuff like that from that particular one. Actually, speaking of cobblestone, I don't think we have uh, cobblestone for the, um, the stone that we have for the base uh, dimension, actually. So we might want to add that eventually, too. Um, I know that is custom texture and everything, so we might be able to create some interesting shapes and stuff. So I'm just setting up the tags at the moment and um, for those uh, particular right-click events. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for the right-click, but I just went with cocoa beans for the pH level. I figured it would probably be high in pH, pH level because it's very acidic. Um, but uh, we'll probably end up changing that later. So I just wanted to see if the properties were working correctly. So we're just going to basically get the data from this block just to make sure there's nothing. And then we're going to till the land. And then we're going to go ahead and test the block data again. And we can see that we got soil, soil mixture. Um, fertility is two, soil pH is three. Soil mixture is three, and rockiness and weed timer, all those things are set up as they should be. So uh, the only thing that I didn't see here is the timers for the um, other two things. So I have to do a little bit of digging off camera and see if I can't set up the timers to automatically get added when I uh, right click like till the land. Uh, this should be set up automatically, but um, I don't know if that's going to affect the script later on um, because it should decrease the soil pH level and the fertility regardless, but um, I would, I, we'll, we'll sort that out later. Well, I will off camera and just try to fix that up, but uh, it's good to note that that's basically happening. So I basically increased the pH level, so to it's now to 4. And we increase the soil fertility to three. So it was from two to three and from three to four. And I just want to see if the maxing it out will basically go up to 14. Now, obviously you don't want to go to 14. <laughs> Generally a healthy pH level is um, 7.5 to 6.5, but I'm sure there's certain crops that require something a little bit higher or lower. Uh, it's really kind of is a balancing act of what kind of minerals and stuff are in the soil so um, and what kind of things the plant gets all right so that's basically it um, I wanted to test the actual kind of distribution of how fast the thing depletes so it's just playing around with the um, uh, I set up a timer so I could basically go ahead and just watch the uh, soil pH level decrease as well as the soil fertility and I just wanted to kind of see how it affected with the weeds and stuff like that to make sure everything's on the same page and always testing is a good idea and I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up and then we can do a new test and just make sure everything's running accordingly so it might take a little bit of time just going to stop this timer and then we can clean all this up so it shouldn't take much longer than one stage of rocks which is good so we'll go ahead and just test the um, data for this block and then we'll go ahead and um, recalculate how long it's going to take so this is exactly from zero to zero so it's like right down to the bone of um all the properties so i wanted to see when it runs out how much we could actually get with a general uh seven uh ph level and a we'll go with nine fertilizer uh just over a little bit then we'll set up the timer so it basically increases now the the stones will automatically do that because we didn't till the land while they were there that's normal 
but they should start um, updating. And I just want to know if the okay, so the weeds are already fully grown. I'm just calculating how long it would take. Now we're going in through many days, right? So every time that, like every couple ticks, there's a day and night cycle change. So I think it would be reasonable enough to have it set up that way because the pH level is still two and the fertility is three. So it should last a few crops, maybe two at most. And I honestly don't think um, it'll be too much of an issue having it at 14. So anyhow, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.